Hey everyone, this is Steve from GamersNexus.net and we are at the end of PAX Prime 2014's first day. It is Friday, of course, and I am joined by Keegan Gallic, who is helping us with some of the camera work and writing here. And today we checked out a game called Nazgoth. Yep, by uh, Psyonix, uh, Square Enix. Yeah, published by Square Enix. Uh, third person battle arena, much like um, Forge and what was the one you played? Fury, like Fury. Fury, Fury. what was the one we, we reviewed though? The really oh, bad man. one. Oh man, there were some really bad ones. The uh, slow one. Well, there was one called Scara. That's not yeah. done yet. Yeah. I had a preview up on that. Yeah. It's not like that. <laughs> <laughs> because this one is good. Yeah. This. We this like Nosgoth. Let's get that. <laughs> yeah, we both we both like Nosgoth. The pacing feels good. Um, the combat feels pretty fluid. You play as two races: humans, vampires. And they have pretty distinct differences in their mechanics. The vampires are. Uh, are much quicker than the humans. Yeah, the vampires are quicker and they can scale the terrain. Uh, humans can't scale, they can just run, kind of jog. Not very yeah. much to that. They shoot though. and They the can tumble. They can tumble, yeah. They can also get pounced on by vampires. Yeah, That's well, no, they can tumble, so you just tumble aside. <laughs> that was the problem I had, actually, was uh, you as a human, you just tumble out of the side of everything and then shoot them, and they kind of die. Uh, <laughs> vampires, unless you really get on top of them, tackle them, do whatever, you're just not going to kill them fast enough, unless they're very bad. It's kind of cool, though, because the vampires can scale buildings and jump over things that the yeah. humans can't. So yeah. that's an element of verticality. The movement and the terrain feels great. I like that, that part a lot. Um, you could scale things easily, but not too easily. You, you could move through things well, but the, the vampires, it really felt different. It set them apart, the fact that they could scale and the humans couldn't. And it, it feels well integrated. And when I was talking to one of the developers, he was or actually the lead designer, he was saying that at a higher level of play right now, the humans are actually dominating the vampires. Yeah. Because of, uh, of the aiming element, because humans have a lot of ranged weapons. Yeah, and that makes complete sense. Um, there were several fights that I felt like I should easily have lost, but I just didn't because I could shoot them and then tumble. And even though they were faster, they couldn't really deal with the tumbling. Um, if they can stop that somehow, maybe, but right now the tumbling is just, it's overpowered. <laughs> and it is a, a free-to-play game. They're monetizing it by selling the usual skins and cosmetic upgrades. Yep. There's also uh, convenience upgrades and I, I think they call them side grades. Their official word is side grades. They don't want us to call them upgrades. Okay. Because it sounds like you're buying, it sounds like pay to win if you say upgrade. Yeah, you wouldn't want that. But it's, it's an upgrade. <laughs> in the form of convenience, normally. So uh, you start with two classes on each on each race, humans and vampires, and then you unlock more every five levels. And I, the, yeah, I should say that's the part I didn't get to experience. I only played one class from each race that I played, and uh, one very fast vampire just moves in. He can uh, leap across the map to a tackle. Uh, if you actually hit with that, it's fantastic. But usually, I just use that to engage, attacked. Yeah. The human I played was significantly better. Grenade launcher and a flamethrower and rolling, and that was it. That's all I needed. And the levels don't actually impact your power in the game. They're only for unlocking classes. So the game, everyone kind of has the same power level, and then, uh, and then it, it becomes more of a skill-based yeah. obstacle. So, so that is Nazgoth. Check the link in the description below for more coverage on that from the two of us. And we will see you all next time. Yep, thank you.